Well, hello and happy gaming, everybody. It's me, Dark Sage Walker, and we're and we're back to try our hand at some more Legend of Zelda randomized. But I've run I've since run into a little bit of a problem. I have no idea what I have and haven't done, so I'm gonna do a few quick base checks. It's right, birds. I'm basically using this to remind myself of where I have and haven't been. This is also a good time to see. Okay, so the Pendant Dungeons here are Turtle Rock and Thief's Town. I may still end up dipping into Thief's Town just to see if there are any items there. But the ability to skip Turtle Rock is nice. Is Okay, I have done this already. And I don't have the Pegasus boots yet, so no dashing for me yet. I don't even know if I'm going to need that, I just picked it up out of habit. Alright, we don't have the bow, so we can't complete Eastern Palace. I get the feeling I tried to complete Eastern Palace already. I don't have the mirror, so once I'm done here, I gotta save and quit, go back to the house, do the things, check the stuff, try to remember what the hell I was doing, and then right back on with our normal everyday randomizer lives. Why am I killing all these enemies? This doesn't get me anything. I'm trying to be faster about it, I can't do it like this. Uh, out of the way. Got places to be, asshat! Okay, well, I mean, it's not necessary, but what the hell, let's go get ourselves a red shield. Yeah, black mage with a shield. I recognize. Alright, quick do the damn check. Again, I don't think I... I think I've already done this, so I don't think I need to do it. Can't get to Hera's Tower without the mirror, so that's out of the question. Pardon me, guys. Got places to be. I know, birds. Isn't it exciting? Such a good way to reconnect with a game that I played from my childhood that now has new life thanks to the randomizer. It's good stuff. Okay, I have already done this. You know, sadly, I don't have the book either, so I can't do that. I think this is kind of where I got stuck before. So, our next big goal will probably be to head to the Dark World and see what we can do there. I do not have the Titan's Myths, so we're just going to have to go the long way around. You, move. Alright, things that we're looking for. Pegasus boots, obviously, but more, even more so than that, I'd like to find the mirror. I'd like to find the Titan's mitts. Bow would be good, since... Well, I mean, I don't necessarily need, need the bow, but I mean, Silver Arrow has really helped you kill Ganondorf. Even Ganondorf is just Ganon in this game. Getting my terms all mixed up. It's your fault, birds. Alright, we can't do the... We can't do any Misery Mire checks without the Titan's Mitts. So, don't even try that. Let's see if there's anything good here. Did I already do this by chance? Because I didn't get the... I didn't get the jingle. <sighs> See, this is the problem. I'm having a hard time remembering what I have and haven't done. I don't have the shovel, so I can't do that. I 
check, let me check and see if I talked to the kid yet. So, Haunted Grove check is a go. Yep, I've already done this. Alright, I think it's time to start jumping into some dungeons. So let's do what I should have done in the first place, and... <clears throat> start by equipping the ocarina. It's called the Flute Duck Sage, you should know that. Shut up. We're gonna come here, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna do a few Skull Woods checks. Why? Because I hate myself. But hey, I've got a red shield. It's probably gonna be the most the most progress I make during the whole run. Because I have a red shield, I'll have an easier time beating blind. I didn't have the Book of Mudora yet. So yes, I definitely have to dip into the Dark World and do some stuff here. As much as I don't really want to, I'm left without many options. You, out the way. <laughs> Sir, I'd appreciate if you didn't do that. I don't have good armor right now. Here's our here's the beginning of our four way foray into the woods. So we now opened up the easy way to the big chest, which is kind of meaningless without the big key, but hey, there it is. That's not a big key, that's an average size key. But I can use that over here. As you can hear, birds are very upset with me. Guys, you can't just be upset all the time. More than likely, they're just having a good time and just being loud just because they're birds. Yay, 50 rupees. What a joy. Oh, there's our big key. Let's go back and check the big chest. Alright, chest of largeness, what do you have for me? Please tell me you have something worthwhile. Oh, you suck. Yeah, that's what you get. Okay, gonna try to bomb jump here, but I am not great at bomb jumping yet, as you can tell. Alright, so then we're gonna do this. No! <laughs> Just a crumpled up hat. Oh, damn it. I'm dumb. You're not supposed to laugh at that, bird. <laughs> Yay! Well, hopefully that means that there's something good elsewhere in the dungeon. Alright, 
no worries, there's still a little bit more to go. But without the fire rod, there isn't much else I can do, so I'm hoping to find something good here. And if I don't, then I guess it's on to Thieves Town. If only I had the cane of Samaria. Oh, apparently you can't block that. Nice. I'm never going to turn down more health, but I would kind of prefer other things at the moment. You know, like some means of further progression, that would be really great. You know, I'd have no problem crossing that gap if I had if I had the Pegasus boots. Just saying, game. You don't need to make this so difficult on me. Alright, guess it's time to jump into Thieves Town and see if I can find anything there. Yeah, I know, this seed is... It's, it's almost like this seed is kind of hard or something. But I certainly don't expect every seed to be easy, and that's kind of the point of the randomizer. Out of the way, asset! Now, another thing I could do, which I don't really want to do, is go do Agnum 1. I don't want to do that, but I have, I believe I have the means by which to do it. You get past the spark, anyway. I'm hoping I don't need anything else. It's not like I have um, any of the important stuff from the light world. And by that I mean I don't have the bow or the mirror. We're working on it though, you really are. That is the second time that shrub has had an enemy. There seems to be something very odd about the hit detection right now. Alright, Cecil is just having a field day over there. He's going nuts. Well, there's the big key, like, right off the bat. I am down for that, but now I need to find other stuff. Okay, piece of heart. Once again, I'm not going to turn down health, but... Health isn't exactly what I need right now. Okay, I'm curious. Um, I'm confused. To me, that sprite didn't make any sense. Up the stairs! My job to find treasures, and that is what I will do. Oh, 
Not a good sign having to dip into pendant dungeons to try to find things. But, if that's what has to happen, then so be it. Just means a longer seat for you all to enjoy, and for me to, you know, bang my head up against the wall and do it. A single rupee. Ooh. I don't know, I don't know if the game could have spared that one. That was that was their ace in the hole. Gotta come in there from the underside. Ow. There we go. Much better. Oh, the hook shot! Alright then. So that will actually let me do... You guys stop. That will let me actually do Swoon... Do Swamp Palace. There you go, things are looking a little bit better now. And if I can ever reach Hookshot Cave, that would be a bonus as well. Got it out. Time for you little lizards. Besides, you do way too much damage. Okay, compass. I don't know why I put another bomb down. I think it might be that most cursed thing of all, the missed input. Stairs and get blind. More, moreover, I want to check the big chest while I'm here. Ew, it's so creepy how they can just turn their heads a complete 180 degrees. I'm getting the feeling I'm gonna need to beat blind in order to check the big chest, aren't I? Would be just my freaking luck. Oh, 
Oh, no, I don't. Alright, I don't suspect I'm going to be able to beat Blind on five hearts, mostly because I'm just not that good at fighting Blind yet. Lovely. But, look at it this way, if I, if I can't beat Blind right now, I can always come back later. I already got the hook shot, so at the very least I can do Swamp Palace. Desert humor is often dry. Getting the idea of how to fight blind, but as of right now, I think I'm just gonna leave that and come back to it later. Like I said, this is a pendant dungeon, so I'm not exactly feeling too skippy on completing it. Swamp Palace, on the other hand, we can go take care of. My house! Except for no, we can't because I don't have the freaking. I don't have the flippers, so no, I can't do that. Okay, so flippers is definitely a requirement for this seed. So many things I need to find, and no idea where any of them are. So, we are going to have to hope to find something up on Darkside Death Mountain. Like, the little bit of it I can explore. I'm also hoping that... Okay, I see a bottle up there. It's nice. Alright, Dark World, be nice to me. Or, you know, not. Well, there's not much here for me to do, unfortunately. I don't even know what this cave is. Let's go have a quick look. Okay. Well, looks like looks like for this episode the hook shot might be about all I find. That would make me sad, but simultaneously, what else would I expect? And of course, in order to get to that gravestone, I need a Titan's Mitts. I'm going to guess that I've already checked Zora, King Zora. even left to check. Alright. 
Just because I'm getting a little desperate, let me go... Let me go make the Lumberjack check. Because it's very possible that there might be an item here that I need to beat Agnum to get. As annoying as that would be, let's go have a look. Why did I think I'd get through there? Yeah, it's almost like I've never played this game before. Dur -dur -dur. And we've got the Mirror Shield. Okay, so no, not necessary. Would be nice, but not necessary. You, out the way. I can get over here, though. So hopefully there's something over in this area that I can actually find. Out of the way, Moldorm. I don't have time for you. completely screwed right now, am I? Like, I don't need the Titans Myths to get into that other cavern entrance, do I? You know what? Just because it's here, I have a bottle. There's a stupid B in it right now. There. I'm gonna take that as a backup in case there is other other crap I need to do. Yes, Mr. Good B, I'm happy you're here, but unfortunately, I need you to help me find other things right now. If you can't do that, you're kinda This is a very sad encapsulation of what this seed is right now, is just me struggling just to survive, just flailing wildly into the breeze going, ah, ow! And then just getting laughed at. Enter this cavern? I can't even try to pull off the hover trick because I don't have Pegasus boots. I just realized I do have a way into Hera's tower after checking that. So, I actually have something I can do. So, next episode, I can check Hera's tower. I get the feeling that's going to be big for me. Because that certainly wasn't. We've got something that we can do. I 
want to finish this. I want to finish checking this cave network, though, because I'm pretty sure. Out of the way. Pretty sure that there's something I can find here. I am happy I found the hook shot, but I gotta find something else before I call it good. Oh, hey, you guys are weak to the hook shot. Cool. That just made me sad. Come on. Gotta be something here of worth. Maybe up here? Really hoping to find something. I am not against the idea of finding fairies, but I kind of need something else. Something a bit more substantial. Apologies for being so quiet, I'm just really focused on trying to find something. Damn it. I get the feeling I'm not going to. By the way, where is this? That's where this goes, okay. Well, if I were doubting that I'd done the King Zora check, I could do that. Except I don't doubt that I've done that. Get the feeling I'm just wasting my time. Yep, just wasting my time. I know that there are items in this cave network, I just need to be able to reach them. I've got one more place I can check. I guess that can't go there. Wait, I haven't tried jumping down here. I am an idiot. Alright, two items. Let's see if either of these are anything good. Nope. Uh, really trying. Alright, we got five chances. This is going to be the end of the episode, so... Here's hoping that we find something other than a few pieces of heart and a hook shot. Ready. Chest number one. Alright, magical boomerang. It's something. Chest number two. Mushrooms! Alright, so we can go do the witch check. Chest number three. Yay! Consumables. Chest number four. Another piece of heart. Last chest for the episode. Are we going to find something that we really need? Is it going to be the Titan's Mitts? Is it going to be the Magic Mirror? Are we going to get the Butter Sword? 
Let's open it up and find out. It's... Fire Rod! I can finish Skull Woods! Sweet! Alright, now we've got options opened up to us, and that was the very last thing I was going to do. So, once again, I say thank you very much for tuning in and seeing how the randomizer is going. I now have options, and I think the first option I'm going to do when I get back to it is we're going to do... We're going to, <coughs> sorry about that. We're going to turn in the mushroom, do the witch check. Um, I don't like the idea of finishing Thieves' Den, but we might have to. And then after... Hmm, and then after that, hopefully we will have found the flippers or something that lets me get into let, get into and finish another dungeon. So right now, Magic Mirror, Zora's Flippers, and the Book of Mudor are the big things that I need. And I'm hoping to be able to find them, so hopefully next time we will. But again, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe, drop a like, leave a comment, do all that fun stuff. And I will see you in a future video. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.